gentlemen, for the King of Health. Hi, I'm Greg Kuttner, the student director of the VBAS, and today I'm standing on top of the Swanson Observatory to take you on a tour of our telescope. Actually, I'm standing where Werner von Braun, the German rocket scientist, stood in this famous picture, minus the Argyle socks. The Swanson Telescope is one of the largest telescopes in Alabama, and possibly the oldest continuously used one. However, it wasn't the first telescope we had in here. More on that later. Let's head down and take a look. Come on in. One difference between this telescope and our other telescopes is that it doesn't have an eyepiece. To look through it, you need to go downstairs into the control room. I'm directly underneath the Swanson telescope where we have our computer control room. The computers here remotely connect to the mount on the telescope. The software we use here are Cartus CL, ESCOM, and NINA, which allow us to do deep sky astrophotography, such as in this image of the Triffin Nebula. On Saturday nights, visitors can come to the control room and watch our imaging sessions and view real-time images of the night sky. Sharing this telescope with our community is an important part of our job because this telescope has a unique connection to Huntsville. The 21-inch is different from other telescopes we have because it is completely locally built. The curve in the 21-inch mirror was ground by members at the Five Points home of member Clarence Ellis in the 1960s. The machine to grind the mirror, currently upstairs in the observatory, was designed and built by Wilhelm Angela. The aluminum truss tube and the steel mount were manufactured to spec and donated by Brown Engineering, now Teledyne Brown Engineering. However, this telescope has gone through many changes over the years. The optical train, formerly a 9,000mm F17 Cassegrain, was changed to a 2100mm F4 Newtonian configuration. The faster F4 optical system provides wider, more stable views than the older configuration and is ideal for imaging deep sky objects like galaxies and star clusters. This telescope may be the best telescope to inhabit the dome, but it's not the first. Construction of the Swanson Observatory Dome was completed in 1956, and the observatory opened for regular operation in 1957. At the time, it housed a 16-inch Newtonian telescope purchased by Von Braun from a maker in California for about $600. The wooden steel cable truss tube from this scope is currently on loan to the Space and Rocket Center for an upcoming exhibit. The primary and secondary mirrors are still in storage at the VBAS. This telescope was used by notable figures in our history such as Werner von Braun and Ernst Stuhlinger until the late 1960s when it was replaced by a cast-screen configuration of the current mirror. Today, that same 21-inch mirror is no longer used for visual astronomy. Instead, it's used exclusively for astrophotography. All of the raw images taken on the Swanson 21-inch scope are available to you through our website. VBAS is building out our cloud file infrastructure and much of the data we store there is available to the public. To access these public files, select the resources public files menu item from the vbas.org homepage and it will display the cloud file structure. If you have an interest in trying to process the raw images taken with the Swanson, go to the Astrophotos folder and you'll find the images organized by date under folders identified by year. If you'd like to process any of the Swanson images and would like to submit them for posting back to the public files, please share them with us. If you'd like to learn more about the Swanson's renovations and upgrades in great detail, See the link in the description to a video by our observatory director, Jeff Delmas. But if you want to just see it in action, come visit us on Saturday nights, weather permitting, to watch a live imaging session. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.